I'm making s'mores ice cream pie. It's basically all the flavors of your dearest campfire confection in a frosty pie. I'll start with a basic graham cracker crust. I've got one stick of butter that I'll melt in my saucepan. I'll brown this butter, which will lend some toasty flavor that will help contribute to the illusion that we're gonna be eating this pie near a campfire. I'll heat it gently until it starts to sizzle and pop. That's the milk solids browning. And then once the sizzling and the popping sounds stop and the butter goes silent, that's how you know it's done. While this goes, I'll blend up my graham crackers. I'll sprinkle in a pinch of salt, because it'll taste good. And then process into crumbs. And now with this running, I'll drizzle in the butter. You can see and smell those toasty buttery bits. Okay, it's starting to clump together. Just eat this straight. This is the nine inch pie plate here. I'll dump this in and pack it down firmly and evenly all over the bottom and up the sides. Crust is looking thick and tasty. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna line this crust with fudge. And then very carefully so that the fudge doesn't pull up the crumbs from the crust, I'll spread it all over the bottom and up the sides and it'll be this great chewy chocolatey layer between the crust and the ice cream. Why eat ice cream out of a bowl when you could eat it out of a tray of graham cracker crust and fudge? You know what I'm saying? I'll stick this in the freezer to firm up while I make my no-churn ice cream filling. This is the easiest way to make ice cream. You essentially just beat up heavy cream and sweetened condensed milk and then add in your mix-ins. The secret is all of the ingredients have got to stay cold. I even chilled my mixer bowl. So I have heavy cream right in here that I'm going to beat to stiff peaks. I'll get my sweetened condensed milk and marshmallow fluff. And these have been chilling so that the ice cream can maintain its stiff texture. This is looking good. I'll quickly scrape in my sweetened condensed milk and marshmallow fluff, of course, since it's a s'more. It's so good. And a teaspoon of vanilla and a pinch of salt. And now I don't want to deflate this, so I'll quickly beat this in until it's just incorporated. That's it, I'm done. I don't want to overmix it and risk it deflating. So I'm gonna quick as a bunny, hurry scurry, get my frozen pie crust. Pile this into the center. Oh, look at that. Look at that fluff. You know what this is begging for? Just some swoops with a spoon to get really pretty texture. I'm working quickly. I don't want it to melt. Ice cream really makes you earn it. Okay, back in the freezer she goes. While the pie stays chilly, I'll char its topping. I've got my marshmallows, my fire. Here I go. This is so satisfying. If you don't have fun of these, you can use a broiler. Ha <sighs> ha! I'm lighting some stuff on fire. And some great color on the marshmallows. Who needs a campfire? Okay, I'll plop these on. It's gonna be great. And make it pretty with some super normal waxy milk chocolate. It's everything I've always wanted and s'more.